Welcome to th week three of continuous off-site learning. I'm going to try this yet again, and I apologize, apologize if my uh, audio is a lag and I don't know what's going on, but um, hopefully this works out well enough. So week three is going to be a little bit different than the first two weeks that we've done. Um, we're going to start moving into a, a unit on heat and thermodynamics. So um, the first thing you want to make sure you do is you go through and you do your peer responses to your, your classmates' videos that they, they posted. If you haven't posted those, make sure you get those as well as your presentations up and posted. They were due on um, Friday, so they're, they should be there. But hope, if they aren't, get them up and get them posted. Then you should be going through and you should be making comments um, and posting responses, and I'll show you where you can kind of access all that stuff. But you need to be taking screenshots shots of those responses or replies, and then you have to submit those to... Um, and that's an assignment. I want those to up and posted by the end of today. Then we're moving into our new unit. So um, I'll kind of show you how to get to it. So I am going to be using the website for most of what I'm showing you. It's going to be very similar on the app. Um, there's a few nice things you can do on the app. Mine doesn't show my modules don't show my it, it doesn't work for that so i'm going to do it here just to kind of show you how to get to that and i'll kind of flip the app just for one or two things so um so when we, we start we go to our course of course and then the your email if you have signed up for those um you're getting announcements otherwise you should start here and i would really encourage you to start here um because i kind of laid the entire week out for you so week three this is what we're doing so so again, today, this is the stuff that I want you to be done, your peer responses. Um, and then there's really, this is the rest of the week. So Tuesday to Friday, I'm going to open this module up around noon today. So, But I really want you to make sure you get that taken care of first. So um, I notice I have links on all these things. So these links should be able to get you directly to um, the things within it, but it will also, they're all built off the modules and I rearrange the module a little bit too. So for example, the energy, um, power production, peer response, if you tap on that, this is what I was talking about, your screenshots. Um, and this is where you're going to go through and this is where you physically would be, um, submitting those. So, so going back to announcements. So once you get those done, then we really have two parts for the week. Um, how you kind of divide them up, that's that's up to you. That's your choice. But there, there's formats are very similar. There's a, a video with a note sheet that you should fill in. There is a homework sheet, number two. If you have questions, make sure you get those answered during office hours or with an email. And then you're going to take a quiz. Now, notice it says that the, 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 the grade will count towards your standard grade. And grade will count towards your standard grade. And the time is limited. So this one has 10 minutes. This one has 20 minutes. Um, you're going to want to have a calculator and some scratch paper to do this because you will then be typing in a number um, into the, the Canvas quiz. So they are graded. Um, and you should be ready for that. So have a dedicated 10 or 20 minutes of time because that's going to cut you off at that. And there are five questions each. So make sure you're spending the time to make do them right because there's only five of them. Um, but also five shouldn't take you more than 10 or 20 minutes. So, so that's kind of that. But again, each one of these is kind of a, a chunk. And if we go to modules, I kind of have it broken down like that too. So this is the module that we just finished up. And then this module is the one I'm going to post around noon today. So this is just simply saying, hey, we're in the week of April 14th to the 17th. There's nothing really there for you to look at. But then here's week one, part one. And notice how this is... These are indented from that one. So all these go with week one, part one. Now these go with week two, part two, week one, part two. Um, so again, there's a video to watch, a homework sheet, um, and then you're going to submit your homework sheet, and then there's a quiz. So if we take a look at one of these, there's a video that is either you can click on a link and watch it directly in the YouTube app, or you can watch the embedded YouTube video. Um, it's really up to you on how you choose to do that. Um, they're about 18 to 20 minutes, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, and then there's this, the note sheet. It's a guided note sheet is really all it is. And you can click on that and you can write right on that. You can mark it up. It's a PDF file. So you can go through and you can mark it right up on there. And I'll show you that with something else with a homework sheet, how to do that. 
Um, but you can go through and you can take notes on that. You can save it to Notability. You can use your markup tool, or you can just simply write it in your in your you know, notebook. You can just take a piece of scratch paper in your notebook and just fill in the notes as we go to. It's completely up to you on how you take those notes. Okay, so we're going, going back to modules. So that was the that was the video sheet. Um, and then if we, oh, I should have shown you that. The, here's the note sheet. So if we click on the note sheet, so this is just, the, this is basically the slides that I'm using and I'm going to be filling in as on those videos. Okay, so that's, that's what that is. And I can show you how to mark that up if you aren't familiar with that. So going back to modules, if we go and we click on the homework, the temperature conversion worksheet, or if I were to go down and click on the homework sheet, this is a homework sheet for heat and temperature change. If we click on that, it opens this PDF. Now, from the website, it does it a little bit different than it does from the app, um, but I'm going to switch to the app now. So I'm going to go to the app, and in the app, I I'm exactly where I just was, right? So this is that worksheet temperature and heat change. But now that I'm in the app, I have this option because it's a PDF, I can click on this. It's like the share button. And there's a couple of choices here. You can go through and you can use, you can send it to Notability and you can mark up this PDF in Notability and save it as a file in Notability. Um, that's one way you could do it. You can go through and use this markup tool that I'll show you in just a second. Or you could simply go through and on a piece of notebook paper or scratch paper, you can just heat and temperature change number one, and you can show me your work. Number two, show me the work. Number three, show me the work. Um, these are the things that you should be able to do after watching me work through a couple of these together. This is the homework that I expect you to do, and these are going to be very similar to the, the quiz questions that will be asked. Okay, so... Um, you will have to submit a picture of this, whether it's a screenshot, whether it's a picture of your notebook paper, um, whether you use, upload the PDF directly, that's up to you. So I wanna show you one more thing before I show you that markup tool, is I have this folder called files. I don't know exactly where yours might be. If you click on files, and if I go up here and I can click on on my iPad. So I can go through and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file right now, and I'm just gonna call this new folder physics, and I'm gonna click done. Okay, so now I have a folder on my iPad that's simply called physics and it's empty, and I'll show you why in a second. So now I'm going back to the app, and now, again, I said I can do this markup tool. So if you're comfortable with Notability, go ahead and use Notability. Otherwise, this markup tool is a pretty neat feature. So it loads this um, here, and then we can choose our different pens and how thick our pen do we want and how, what color pen do we want. But then the idea is we can go through and we can say, oh, well, this is the, that's my M, and this is my um, TI, and this is my T, uh, TF. Okay, and then we can say, well, Q is equal to MC delta T. And you can just write on this with your finger, or you can use one of those cheap stylus that are on the opposite sides of a pen. It's really up to you. Now, there's when you're done, you're gonna want to, you're gonna be submitting this file. Um, so when you're you can click done, and if you click done, you can either choose to delete the PDF, or if you click save file to then you can go through and say, well, where do I want to save this? Well, if I click on, on my iPad, I have this folder that I just created called physics. And if I click on that, and then I click up here and say, I want to save that. Now, when we go back to this folder called files, in that folder is that worksheet. And if I wanted to, I can continue to write on this here, okay? Now, if I click done and I go back to the app, I can come back to this and I can click on this again. And if I go to markup once again, my stuff that I wrote in Canvas is still there. Now notice that green squiggly line that I just did isn't, but if I were to go uh, and write the word like do another problem, and if I go up here and I hit done, 
I can save file like I just did, and it will ask me, like, do you already want to save it? And I can say, I want to save it to my physics page, and I click save, and do you want to replace it? Yes, I want to replace it. Okay, and now it looks like it's gone. But if we go through and we click on that markup tool again, that high is still there. And this is kind of a weird thing um, that we can go and we can actually, um, we can say, hi, students, and then I can go up and I can click done. And if I click delete PDF, and I don't really understand this one, but if I go and do this exact same thing again, um, and I click markup, then it's there. So it's just not going to save it to my iPad. It's saving it within Canvas. So you just kind of going to decide, do you want it saved to Canvas or do you want it saved to your iPad? And in order to submit it, I'm pretty sure we got to save the file to our iPad and then we're going to save it, and we're going to save it, and we're going to replace it. And now, back on this file, I have the high students. And then this would be the document that I want to actually be submitting into Canvas. So how do you actually do that? So that was, that's just simply, that was looking at this particular the worksheet, but then this is where you submit the actual evidence. So then you would go through and you would submit that PDF. You would submit that um, picture of your notebook or whatever. And then at the end, at the, when you're done with that and you feel you're confident with temperature with temperature conversion or these temperature changes, then there's these quizzes that you go through. You get one attempt. They count towards standard ten. Um, and there's five questions. So have your calculator ready, have a piece of notebook paper ready, um, or scratch paper so you're ready to take those. And they should take 10 to 20 minutes, and they're going to cut you off at that because they shouldn't take you any longer than that. So, again, if you have any questions as you go, make sure you're getting those questions asked. Have a great week, everyone.